Welcome to Bitcoin Privacy with me, Nosy Mouse. In this video, we'll be looking into the importance of change output position. Before we dive straight into the topic itself, let's start with our previous example, where Bitcoin Q&A takes his 50k SAT UTXO, use 11 and a half thousand SAT as payment to myself, and the remaining as change output back to himself on a different address. By using a different address for every transaction, outside observer will have a harder time to identify the entities in those transactions. You might have noticed that I have added the spend and unspend status of the UTXO in this example transaction. Unspend means that this UTXO have not yet been consumed as an input in another transaction. Whereas the change output has the status of spend, meaning that the changes Q&A sent back to himself has been used in another transaction. Just one more thing. I'll be replacing this arrow notation with this dotted line since we already understand that the flow of funds is from the input to the output. Let's query the Bitcoin ledger and see what information we will gain from Q&A's change address. And to everyone's surprise, it led us to another transaction. Since we know the change output from Q&A was spent, we can see that in the new transaction, it has consumed the previous UTXO as an input and created two new outputs. But if we look at the status of those outputs, they have also been spent. Now let's query the ledger and see what information we could get from those addresses. Each UTXO were consumed in a separate transaction, and we have reached to a point where all transactions outputs are unspent. So now the question becomes, how much Bitcoin does Q&A has based on the available information. If you picked answer D, 10,000 sat, very good. That is the expected answer. But if you picked any other answer, you are also potentially correct. But we will explain that later in the series. Now, let us go through with the reasoning behind the answer of 10,000 satoshis. At the very beginning, Q&A was paying me 11.5k sat from his 50k UTXO. And he sent the change to a different address, which he owns. And we followed that change to a new transaction. A payment has been made. To whom? We don't know, since it is not an address we have any information on. But what we do know, that there are bound to be some changes sent back to the sender. And if we apply the same logic as our previous transaction, where the change output is positioned as output number one, then we could safely assume in this transaction, Q&A sent 12k sat to someone and have 26.5 thousand sat left as change. And if we follow that spend UTXO, we will arrive to this transaction and once again, applying the same logic, we could safely assume that the 50,000 sat Q&A used to pay me with, after two more transactions, he has 10,000 sat remaining. This is a very short appeal chain where the wallet software does not randomize the payment or the change output position index, and we could follow our subject by following the change output. To mitigate from this problem, you could manually randomize the change output when you craft the transaction, or use a wallet that would automatically randomizes the position of the payment and the change output. This is the end of the video. I hope you have learned something. I'll see you in the next one.